This is before and this is after. Partition wall in the middle that we had to take down and uh, painting the pebble dash because it's so ugly and the kids were doing that and they were having a dance and having fun. And then they were arguing because it's actually really, really hard to paint pebble dash, like super hard. So eventually they're taking a little break, trying to get the HGV around the side of the house it was a logistical nightmare and took about an hour because it just didn't want to fit. There was about a millimetre each side to go. But eventually got it round there. And why did we use the grab, lorry? I don't know why we used to grab, but we used to grab. Didn't do that one again. Anyway, yep, that was a lot of fun. This is limestone MOT type one, and it's just absolutely amazing quality. We want to make a hole in the ground. We have to pickaxe this stuff. It's just absolutely brilliant quality. And I think at the time it cost about 550 pounds all in for 20 tons. So that was like really good value for money. I don't know what it costs these days, but I think it's a lot more than that. So I think I was paying about, I think I was paying about 250 or 220 plus fat for 20 tons of type two crushed. So um, that's just very, really good quality. I wish I could have used this everywhere, but it's, I think it was more like a thousand pounds or something like that. Really, really expensive. Yeah, sorry, I was referring to um, the 220 pounds plus fat was 20 tonnes of type two crushed concrete, not limestone. Absolutely not. Not much point having the grab anyway, because it ended up in piles. Here's the digger coming in, a nice little Dianmar. Good machine, similar to a Kubota, I think, but I hadn't had an experience at this point on a digger. That's not me in it. Anyway, the guys got on with it and got it graded one way or another and did a lot of raking as well, which was great. And it got done and it was a nice solid job. And then they got the uh, compactor plate on it as well to give it a good finish off. Actually, I think my son did that. So he did a lot of uh, wacker plating and did a fantastic job of it. Here's it finished so far with 20 tons of 20 mil shingle put down. I'd rather have it all tarmacked, but after the extension is built, maybe. I really like these covered sections over the workshops because it's so lovely to be able to work undercover and to be able to sit with family and friends. And I've got a little fire pit under there too. I built this nice little archway with hammocks in, which is one of my favorite spots. This is my old 2006 Range Rover that I absolutely love and I never hardly drive it. And going back now, this is the dismantling of the old partition wall. The guys did a really good job and got it done in about a day. <laughs> Watching my son step back as the dumper backfires. I don't know why it was doing that, but got a puncture on the dumper. So I had to call out the repair guys who did a really good job because they know what they're doing, don't they? And of course it was pouring with rain, so they had to fix it in the rain and carry on working. But you know, good for them, they did carry on working and the guy was amazing. I have absolutely no idea what he's pouring all over the tires. Bringing the digger back in to carry on working now. And here we see the finished front driveway. Oh, look at Rich's lovely Porsche that he's going to add twin turbos to. I've introduced a lot of plants as well to the front and some trees. I particularly love my liquid amber and my red robin. The plants came in on a truck and we had to dig really big holes for the red robin and the liquid amber there and lower them into the ground with the digger, which we did successfully. That wasn't a problem. And they've done really, really well. So I think the place is looking really good. The liquid amber in the autumn turns a whole array of colours. It's just stunning and I can't wait till it gets bigger and bigger. Fantastic. So we've got some other plants in there as well. And obviously we've got the electronic gates. It's really come together well. And the bin shed on the right hand side there, which is fantastic. One of my really good guys built me a drop box in the wall, which is fantastic as well. And we even put in a gate for bin shed access. Thanks so much for watching and I'll have another video up really soon for the next stage of the project. And we got quite a lot of mishaps, mistakes and drama, but a few things did go okay.